In this video, we want to talk about what they mean when they talk about true bearings, okay? Um, so it shows up in our right triangle section, and then it shows up again when we get to non-right triangles. So let's make sure we're going to begin with um, with it in the simpler form in with right triangles. So what it means when we talk about a true bearing is we want to know what is the angle from true north to whatever direction we're going. So if we're at town B, and we want to get to town A, so if this true north is always kind of going up on our page, it's how did I need to move in the clockwise direction to get to that? Okay, um, so if so, that's how this would be the angle that we find the the bearing from town B to town A. Um, they would they could also say what's the bearing from town A to town B, and that's okay if you were going um, true north, and then you turn to figure out that that angle right here. So let's say the the example that the book gives us is they say that this is forty eight degrees. Okay, so if that's 48 degrees, then we know we have um, these true norths are going to be parallel. So we've got um, same side interior back from geometry, or what we could do, let me use another, another color. I could extend this out if that was, was helpful. And this, those are um, corresponding angles. So if this is 48 degrees, then what I've done is I've gone 48 plus 180. Okay, so what is that? 48 plus 180 is 228. So we'd say that the bearing from town B to town A is 228 degrees. The bearing from town A to town B is 48 degrees. And that's what they mean. So always, when you, when you have some, something there, you always want to draw the points. You want to see what the picture looks like. Figure out where's north. I would make the, the path that you're taking a solid line and the, um, the true north a dotted line, so you can kind of see where that angle is. So let's look at this, this first example that the book gives us. Um, they said a jogger finishes um, two kilometers south and three kilometers west of where he began. Okay, so that means he begins, so let's stay, he begins at point A, that seems obvious, um, and then he ends, or maybe we could call, let's do this, we say he begins at B and he ends at the ending, well, so it's two kilometers south, so we need to go south, and then three kilometers west is this way, so he, this would be, so here's that path that this is where he began, and this is where he ends, Begin and end, anyway, begin, end, anyway, whatever. Okay, so they want to know what's the bearing of this. This side right here is two, this side is this side length is three. So what I need to do, I should have grabbed my calculator before I started. Um, found one. Okay, so as I get started here, we typically will do bearings in degrees. I don't know what was on here. Um, so I want to verify that my calculator is in degrees. If I'm using the Casio and it's not in degrees, and during the test, I'm not going to remind you how to do this, but you go Shift Setup. Well, so Setup is Shift Menu. So then I can come down here to Angle, and if I in this one, I want to be in degrees. So in IB and in Precal, we go back and forth. So make sure you know how to do that. Um, okay, so what I want to do is I know that this is a right angle right here. And I want to find, I can figure out how big this angle is by saying tangent of theta is equal to 2 over 3. Therefore, theta is approximately, so I'm trying to find the angle, so it's second tangent, inverse tangent of 2 thirds. Okay, so it's approximately 34 degrees. Um, the book gave us one decimal place. Okay, so 33.7. And what, but that's not the angle that we wanted. And so actually, I probably should have found a different one. But anyway, here we go. We want to know how, from where he began to where he end, ended, how, what, what is that angle? Well, if this one right here is 33.7, I could have found the other one. Maybe I should have. I should have said the tangent of is equal to 3 over 2, and that's going to be the complement to that angle. It's going to add up to, to 90. So I, even without grabbing my calculator, I know that that's going to be 90 minus this. So what is that? 56.3? Um, and yes, the book rounded it to 56.3. I can verify 
by saying inverse tangent of 3 over 2. Sorry, I don't need to do that, but just verifying for you. So now what happens is this little angle right in here is 56.3, and then there's 180 that we add to that. So his, his bearing is going to be that plus 180. It's going to be, the final answer is 236.3 degrees. Okay, IB typically likes... Um, three sig figs. So really and truly, your best answer is 236 degrees. And there you go. Okay. Um, anyway, we need to be precise and or not precise. We need to be consistent and use um, three sig figs. The next one that we want to look at, it says it departs from depot A um, and drives on a 36, uh, excuse me, 136 degree course for a certain distance, and then he turns right, okay, so what are we talking about? So if this is A, well, so here is true north, so 136 is going to be, well, here's 90, so it's going to be somewhere bigger than that, so it's going to, he's going to be coming this way right here. Um, notice the path that he took I made as a, as a solid line. I don't know that I have to have an arrow, but there you go. Um, so this angle here was 136. And then it says it he turns right at the intersection and drives on a two, uh, 226 degree course. Well, notice, let's see, if he's turning, they said he's turning right. Well, what does that mean? That means that he is, or she, or I don't really care, whatever. What they're doing is they're driving down this road. Can you see if I turn my paper, I can see I'm going this way. So if I turn right, well, that means that I've now gone this way. Okay, so... They say, when they say turn right, that sounds like, well, how far right? Well, it sounds like we need a right angle. Um, but let's verify. So if we have this point, this is at point, at point B. And then it goes a certain distance. I don't even know that I care how far. And here's point C. Well, maybe I should indicate that this one is, this is about... 2.4, and this is about 3.1, so it should be a little longer. If I make it longer, it'll help me know my scale. Like, it'll, it'll let me know if my answer is reasonable or not at the end. So I've kind of, maybe I should put it even farther out here. Okay, whatever. Figure not drawn to scale, obviously. Okay, so let's look at this. So if I'm coming up here, if this is my, um, if this is my uh, true north, then what I've done here is I have to go more than, um, more than 180 to come all the way this way. Let's see. So if this were, let's see, how do I want to verify this for you? If I can extend this out, that angle is 136. That means this angle is 136. Well, 136, 136 plus 90 sure enough is at 226. So sure enough, it did make a nice little right angle, right turn right through here. So here's our right angle. And now they want to know, well, I didn't tell you what they want to know. They want to know how far are A and C apart from each other, and then what's the bearing from C back to A, or from A to C, and whatever. Okay, so let's look at that one. We know now basically what we have here is we've got a right triangle where the right angle is at B, here's A, and this is 2.4, and here's C, and this becomes 3.1. And so I can do Pythagorean theorem and say, well, the square root of 2.4 squared plus 3.1 squared. Okay, this is about 3.92 kilometers. So the distance between A and C is 3.92. They also want to know what this bearing is. Okay, so, well, we can, we can look at, notice I've gone 136 to get here. I can figure out how big this angle is because I've got a nice little right triangle and then just add it to that and that would be the bearing from A to C. Um, if I were to go from C to A, let me look, this was in the book. I want to see what they did. They said the bearing of C from A. Oh, so they started here at A, and they wanted to know, basically, what angle did you end up going starting at A getting to C? So I need to figure out this angle right here, which is the angle A. So I can say, let's use the ones that, um, we can say tangent of A is equal to opposite over 
adjacent. So second tangent 3.1 over 2.4. And notice I used the, the numbers that they gave me in case I messed up here. I don't want to compound my mistake. Um, so this is A is approximately 52.3 degrees, three sig figs. And so we need to add that to this, 136. Oop. And I'm at 188.3, but we'll keep it with three sig figs. So the it's 188 degree bearing from here, from A to C. Okay, um, the next, the, the chapter, so there's some problems to practice with right triangles, and then there's also some problems to practice um, where you need to use law of sine and law of cosine. But I think that um, once you know the law of sine and law of cosine, and once you know the understanding of this true bearing, then you can kind of put those two ideas together. So good luck, the only way to learn this is to practice.